Welcome back to the best FPS where I showcase was absolutely carrying the gaming industry. Today we're taking a look at Force Reboot, developed by N404, who's the only developer on this project. I didn't see any other works from them on Steam, so let's just get into the game. This is another fast-paced roguelike where you're killing enemies as you move room to room. Yet Force Reboot does something a little different from the others. You're constantly losing health throughout these danger zones, forcing you to really try to finish as quickly as possible. The caveat is that the faster that you move, the less health you lose, so you need to utilize dashing, sliding, and ground slamming to ensure that your health can stay as high as possible. You also benefit from the fact that you can regain health by killing enemies, so if you die, it's really just a skill issue at that point. But there are traps everywhere. Spikes on the floor, hydraulic presses that come out of the ceiling, and explosive barrels that litter each room, so you do have to move with a decent amount of caution. As I stated before, strafing, jumping, sliding, and anything that gives you movement is going to be essential for survival. You'll need to focus on those main things while also shooting your enemies, which I'm pretty sure are all robots. You're going to be running and gunning the entire time, so you're going to have to get used to it. At the end of each danger zone, you'll enter a safe zone where you get a choice of perks. These perks have randomized buffs and debuffs that are attached to each other. The buffs can range from new guns, double guns, or increased movement speed. The debuffs can range from enemies now have spinning saw blades around them, Reloading your guns will damage you, or the worst, you are constantly moving forward. I deem that one especially terrible because in a game where movement is one of the most important things, if you can't control it, it gets really frustrating really fast. I had a great time utilizing the double guns with the pistol as they felt like dual Winchesters and who doesn't love a Winchester? In total there are 4 guns to choose from, the pistol which you always start with, the SMG, the shotgun, and the grenade gun. No clue why the hell they call it a grenade gun, but whatever. The pistol is your all-rounder, the SMG is all aim, no brain. The shotgun felt fairly inconsistent to me, and the grenade gun was just kind of uninteresting. But there is a fifth weapon, the fist, which honestly may be the best weapon in the game. Each punch you throw gives out an aura visual effect, and I don't know about you guys, but uh, I, I, I do love me some JoJo. You also have the ability to, to kick, Kicking is a close melee but can also reflect projectiles. Kick projectiles launch right back at the enemy who shot him, which will kill him, so it's quite useful to do. But kicking just feels a bit off to me, so I usually don't rely on it. The fist can also reflect projectiles and seems a lot more consistent at doing so. As you move through each level, you'll be fighting through four different enemy types. I don't know what they're called, so I'll give them my own names. Chimp Event, Free Health, Bitch, and Bigger Bitch. These ones are called bitches because they can either shoot normal projectiles or small ones, and the small ones are really annoying to deal with. The other big hindrance during your runs are what I brought up once before, traps. There are a lot of traps you'll have to avoid while zipping around like a Titanfall pilot. Crushing pillars from the ceiling, spikes from the ground, spinning blades, which honestly fucks me up the most, wall turrets, and explosive barrels. Every trap that's able to damage you is also able to damage your enemies, which is a nice touch, but remember those modifiers? They can actually make it so it traps heal enemies if you pick up that specific debuff. I typically avoid them. There are four game modes to choose from. You've got the standard game mode I've been talking about, Rush, Endless, and Arena. Rush is the hard mode of the standard, pretty much. Endless lets you pick three perks every few rooms and you go until you die, and Arena is a wave mode in a big old room. The game is in a voxel style, which I had to make sure is the term because with a few other videos I was saying pixel and that's just not correct. Uh, now I will say, due to the color palette and the art style, seeing the enemies sometimes can be a little difficult, especially when they're far away from you. But other than that, the game looks pretty nice, and the environments are filled with physical objects and decor on the walls to really give it more life, and it's a great touch. I only have one dislike, and it's a personal gripe, but it's the pause menu. Where the resume button would presumably be, there is reboot, which will actually restart your run. I had a great build, I hit reboot after pausing the game, was not happy afterward. I'm giving Force Reboot a solid 8 out of 10 because it very much immerses itself in what kind of game it is without any extra BS. It's a movement based shooter that takes inspiration from other games in its genre and it plays pretty well. And by the way, the game costs $3. If you don't have $3 to give this game a try, you need to get off of YouTube and go get a damn job.